Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about some new updates to Part 95 rules that impact CB radio, FRS, and GMRS. Stay tuned and we're going to talk all about it. So my buddy Eric reached out to me yesterday and he says, Hey Ape, are you doing a video on the FM modulation being added for CB radio? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he told me about the FCC deciding to allow for FM modulation over CB radio. So I went and I did a search on the Google and I came up with uh, this article. And uh, let's take a quick look at it. It says 63 years after the induction of Class D 27 megahertz AM CB radio, the FCC has agreed to permit FM to be used. When we take a look at this, Go Cobra and um, eventually President Electronics petition to allow FM as an op optional modulation standard for all existing 40 CB channels, with AM remaining mandatory. And what that means is, is that all CB radios built moving forward can now have FM modulation, but they need to have AM modulation. The FCC also considered and accepted allowing automatic periodic location and data transmissions on FRS and GMRS radios, and that was petitioned by Motorola. Now, is this going to be useful? They say it'll be useful for hikers, fishers, campers, and stuff like that. Fishers? Fishermen. Fisher people. Um, they said it would be helpful for them in the event that they got lost or needed uh, to have some navigation services. And that makes sense. But given the nature of FRS and GMRS radios and the lack of infrastructure for beaconing of these digital messages on those signals, I really don't see that as being useful. Maybe in the future when some infrastructure gets built out, who knows? But right now, I think it's just opening the door for future functionality. There were also some other things considered, mostly the correction of typographical errors and rule changes for Part 95 radio services that impacted medical device radio communications known as med radio. I don't know anything about that. Down at the bottom of this article is a link to the FCC website, and let's take a look at that right now. And it's the fact sheet, Petitions for Reconsideration of Part 95 Personal Radio Services Rules and Report, or Report and Order, mm. July 15, 2021. And then here, just at a high level, what we have is the reconsidering would grant COBRA's petition requesting commission to allow FM as optional, optional modulation scheme for all 40 uh, channels. And we talked about that. And then it says dual modulation would improve the user experience if, since FM provides benefits for some types of communications. So that's pretty cool. FM is a little cleaner sounding than AM at times. And um, I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. Also, here's what we talked about with FRS and GMRS. Um, that's cool. Uh, hopefully somebody will find some use in there. I don't think that I'll play around with it. Maybe I will. Who knows? And then here's some more information about the uh, med radio. This document's pretty long, and I'm not going to go all through it, but uh, it will be linked below in the event that you want to read it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and leave them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks.